Many of us feel called to a path of healing. We associate the path of healing as a gateway towards wholeness. We strive to heal ourselves internally so that we may feel more whole. There's nothing intrinsically wrong with the desire to be whole. And yet, the longing for wholeness creates a paradox because it furthers the idea that we are separate and creates an unresolvable duality. Our desire to heal usually arises out of the pain of feeling separate or the perception that we are somehow isolated from our union with our true nature and the divinity that we are. The state of separation has symptoms. With the perception of separation, we may feel anxiety, sadness, grief, anger, depression, fear, hopelessness, distrust, confusion and dis-ease. We may feel a lack of drive, energy, passion and vitality for life. Largely, we've been conditioned to associate the state of being healed as a final destination and a place we arrive once we have done all the work. When we arrive at this destination, the hope is that we are granted access to a state of being that is essentially free from pain and suffering. As we heal, we go through a process of deeply examining and deconstructing patterns, beliefs and underlying emotional wiring that once formulated a sense of identity and truth for ourselves. As we move deep into deep awareness around this patterning, we go into a period of identity deconstruction that sometimes results in existential crisis and turmoil as we realize we've outgrown our previous programming. Recognizing we've outgrown our previous programming can create a break with reality and cause us to fundamentally question who we are. What is reality and what is the purpose and meaning of it all? As the foundational structures at our core, governing identity and perception of reality begin to crumble, we start to awaken to the illusion of separateness. Suddenly, there's a greater degree of space as our awareness widens and dilates to include everything. We realize that we have been organizing our identity around the perception that we were somehow fragmented or incomplete. Embodied wholeness happens when we are in continuous embracing of all that is arising. Embodied wholeness is both a state of being as well as an action. The state of wholeness is a byproduct of the degree to which we are not in opposition to any part of ourselves or the experience we are having. It is a surrendering into the here and now, combined with the practice of continuously refocalizing our energy, attention and awareness from the past and future into intimacy with the present moment. Our true nature isn't something that needs resolution. Our true nature doesn't really need anything in order to function or be what it is. It exists on its own without any help or guidance from us. The process of awakening to our true nature is really an allowance of the emergence of what is already present. In this allowance of what is already present, we naturally and effortlessly abide into the truth of all that we are. The truth of what we are and what we've always been is innately whole.